What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks NBA Player Props video. Going to be breaking it down. Giving you guys five picks to get to win some money over here on Prize Picks. As always, guys, hopefully you tuned in yesterday. We went five and oh, five and oh. Hopefully you cashed in on that 10 extra money. We had the Darius Garland over fantasy points, Kevin Durant over fantasy points, Paul George, Anthony Edwards, and D'Angelo Russell talked about a little bit of the strategy and game theory that I'm going to be going with for these NBA playoffs. Uh, regarding fantasy score, these rotations are going to be shortened. They're going to be relying on their stud players more. These stud players are going to be out there for lots of minutes on prize picks to get the three points for blocks and steals as well. Uh, so I am going to be oftentimes wanting to target those type of players in these type of game environments. Guys, 5-0, you know, looking to do it again. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. If you enjoy this content, hit that like button. Guys, let's get this thing over like 200 likes. Come on, man. We went 5-0. and oh. Let's get the juju going. Usually it's 100 likes on these uh, these videos, but it's the playoffs. We went 5-0. and We're looking to get hot, man. Let's get this thing up to 200 plus likes. Why not? If you enjoy this content, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. And if you are getting very serious about prize picks, I do offer premium content packages. That's patreon.com slash kjk underscore dfs. That is linked below in the description. You can get access to my prize picks NBA package. I know we're winding down the season here. The core is going to be a little bit more limited. DraftKings FanDuel NBA package prize picks MLB and DraftKings FanDuel MLB. I am a very good MLB DFS player as well if you want to check that out. And uh, I will be offering, you know, some more MLB picks throughout the year over there as well. You can get the combo package as well if you want the NBA or the MLB. You get access to the DraftKings FanDuel and the prize picks at a discount. So without further or do, guys, got five picks for you. Let's get into it. Let's go game by game as always. Uh, we're actually going to be targeting one game in this video. I do like this slate overall a lot. Uh, the two playing games, these are must-win games for both uh, both sides here. It is win or go home for these games. You can see the bracket. These are the ninth and 10th place teams. The winner is going to go on and play the loser of the 7th, 8th game that just took place last night in the West in the East. So uh, these are must-win, must-win. The rotations are going to be short, and there's going to be lots of minutes played for certain guys. And we're going to be capitalizing that. We're going to be taking advantage. So... Uh, and we're going to be talking about the Charlotte Hornets Atlanta Hawks game. Now, the premium content, I do feel pretty co confident about this slate overall. So I think I'm going to have quite a you know maximum amount of picks. But for the video, we're going to be loading up on this game. It comes in with a 236 over under. It's a five and a half point spread in favor of the Atlanta Hawks. And this is going to be a great game environment overall. The Charlotte Hornets came in the league fifth overall in the pace in uh, throughout the season. And the Atlanta Hawks are 17th. Going to be a massive total. And both these teams were just absolutely breeding fantasy points throughout the season, man. Uh, looking at my defensive half court and putbacks tool over here on my premium content sheets, you can see that Atlanta was 26th overall in points per possession rank, 19th in half court points per play, 18th in half court percentage of play rank, uh, 20th in putbacks allowed, and the Charlotte Hornets weren't much better, 20th overall in points per possession rank, 28th in offensive rebounder percentage allowed, 26th in half court percentage of play ranks, and 26th in putbacks. So uh, both of these teams really allowing a lot of fantasy points to opposing players. And I want to be capitalizing, and I'm going to be going with, first of all, the over on the Mellow Ball 43 fantasy score here tonight. Once again, I do expect these guys to play in the mid to upper 30s uh, in minutes, and this is going to be a very, very fa fast-pacing game environment. The Mellow Ball putting up 1.31 prize fix fantasy points per minute. And what I like about this is that the Charlotte Hornets are no longer with Gordon Hayward due to the injury. It's making it a lot easier on us to predict these minutes now. Uh, and to predict the usage. It's the really a lot of usage going through the main core guys. And LaMelo Ball, of course, is one of those core guys. Um, really going to like his usage. Really going to like his upside. With there being no Gordon Hayward, it becomes even easier for him to get more usage, more upside. I like the over 43 fantasy score. You get the three points for blocks and steals. You get you do get points deducted for turnovers. So let's hope that this isn't a turnover fest. Uh, too, too much. And if the turnovers do, you know, go one way, hopefully we get some blocks and steals the other way from a LaMelo. You can see last time out, eight turnovers. Um, but this fast up tempo game environment, I think he's going to have plenty of opportunities for blocks and steals as well. He's usually pretty good for a few steals a game. You can see like four, one, two, three, two, three, two, one, four, four steals, uh, throughout the season. You get three points for those blocks and steals. Like I said, I expect the minutes to be massive, the pace to be massive and the fantasy points per minute, uh, allowed for both sides is, was very, very good throughout the season. So I like the over 43 fantasy score for Lamella ball. Second on the list on his team, I want to be going to Terry Rozier, uh, another guy that I expect to play in the upper 30s. Once again, I do like the fact that there is no Gordon Hayward. The usage should be condensed here. Uh, and another guy that puts up over one fantasy point per minute on the season. Looking at Terry Rozier as far as his per minute production, putting up 1.03 prize picks fantasy points per minute. 
I do think there's some serious value on this line as well. Only a 35 fantasy score, a guy that I project to, you know, play in the upper 30s in minutes. Only projected in the mid-30 in fantasy score. I want to take in the over 35 fantasy score for Terry Rozier in this fantastic game environment. And third, the other guy expected play in the upper 30s have the most condensed usage. Not really too worried about the bench cutting into his minutes with the rotations being short in the playoffs is going to be Miles Bridges. I like the over fantasy score for Miles Bridges tonight. Once again, a guy that can contribute in all categories. He will get you blocks and steals as well. You get the three points for blocks and steals over here on prize picks. Um, and a guy that, when you're looking at the end of the season, didn't look like it was all too appealing uh, on his permanent production. But you got to keep in mind, the rotations were kind of being, you know, spread out. They were resting some guys for playoffs. This is a win or go home game that they need to win to stay in the playoffs. I expect this core three to play massive minutes. Bridges, Rogier, Ball. Even if they get in foul trouble, you know, I expect them to be as rested as short as possible and then get them back in the, on the floor. And it's going to take some serious, serious foul trouble to keep them out of the game for too, too long. So like the over 37 fantasy score for Miles Bridges. And then running it back on the other side, I said we're sticking to this game. We have two guys that are great fantasy point producers. The first guy, you're probably guessing it. It's going to be Trey Young. I like the over fantasy score for Trey Young. 52 fantasy score over here on prize picks. A fantastic permanent producer and a guy that I do project to play in the upper 30s once again. Uh, a guy that sometimes would play in the mid-30s in the season, especially towards the end. He wasn't quite getting there in his fantasy points. If you look at his game logs, you know, it's a little bit less than ideal. Five turnovers, seven turnovers in the last two games as well. That's not going to help his case, but he's going to be out there four for lots of minutes. He doesn't typically rack up the blocks and steals, but in a game environment like this, uh, once again, just with the amount of usage and uh, time he's going to be on the floor, I do think that blocks and steals are just going to become much more common in the playoffs. Um, and it's a lot easier to, you know, rely on that almost in a sense than some of the other categories on prize picks. I mean, if we can get a few blocks and steals, if he gets like three blocks or steals, I mean, that's nine fantasy points. That's a big deal. That's pretty much, that's 10 fantasy points right there. And the same applies for all these other guys um, on a site like prize picks. So I do like taking the over 52 fantasy score. Uh, a guy that on the season put up 1.33 prize picks fantasy points per minute. And a guy that does get a bump with there being no more John Collins. Same thing as the uh, Charlotte side. If John Collins was in, I wouldn't feel quite as confident in the usage of uh, Trey Young. John Collins can always get hot and take over a game. Uh, with him being out, I do think it gives a nice bump to Trey Young. Makes me feel a little bit better about this pick. And the second guy it gives a nice bump to is his teammate, the center, the fantasy point per minute beast, Clint Capella. Another guy like, once again, I do think he gets a nice bump with there being no John Collins, similar to the Gordon Hayward I've talked about. Trey Young and Clint Capella are the two I feel most confident about as far as getting their fantasy point per minute production uh, out of them in this game environment. Clint Capella, another fantastic fantasy point per minute producer, 1.18 prize fix fantasy points per minute on the season in this fantastic environment with a 236 over under. He should be able to shine and hit the over 34 fantasy score. And once again, we're rocking with it. We're going to get the blocks and steals out of Clint Capella as well. We're going to do the fantasy score. Like I said, we're going to take advantage of these heavy minutes, condensed usages, and condensed rotations throughout the playoffs. Lock these five picks in, guys. These are my five picks. Looking to go 5-0 and again. As always, if you enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Check out the premium content packages over here. Patreon.com slash KJK underscore DFS. Wishing you guys all the best of luck. If you haven't signed up for prize picks, sign up today. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match deposit up to $100. Uh, best of luck, guys. Looking to keep it going. And we will see you in the next one.